Hi, I'm Nick and welcome to Deviant Hunting, a web series devoted to showcasing some of the most amazing and creative artworks in the Deviant Art community. All artists on the show have given me permission to use their artworks and all links to the artists can be found in the description below, so let's get into it. The first artworks of the show come from digital artist DracoImageM-com. DracoImageM creates funny and playful spin-offs of pop culture icons. Here is a piece inspired by the film Rocky III's theme music, Eye of the Tiger, but with a twist. Next up is Draco's spin-off of Back to the Future, starring a T-Rex, sporting sneakers and all. Draco's gallery would not be complete without this artwork of Spider-Man. Draco's work is well presented and his style of art suits humour very well. Check out DracoImageM-com's gallery in the links below to see more. Tommaso Ranieri is an Italian self-made artist who creates comics, character design, concept art, and matte artworks. To pursue his passion of creating artworks, Tommaso has forsaken everything to achieve his dream of becoming a professional artist. He has now travelled the world creating artworks for Marvel Superhero Squad, Transformers, Winx, and many more publishers and projects. This is a character from Tommaso's sci-fi hero comic titled Kane, which was initially rejected by his publishing agency for having a look which was too Japanese. After many years, Tommaso has now redesigned the characters from Kane, which can be viewed in his DeviantArt gallery or on his Twitter. Alina Shivit is a Russian artist who is fond of watercolour techniques and artworks. Alina's watercolour artworks are mostly based on beautiful animals such as horses, cats, lions and dalmatians. Alina paints very well and it's clear she puts a lot of effort into each artwork. Check out Alina's profile to see more. Westling is a Swedish artist who has a passion for old movies, such as this piece, based on the classic film slash book 12 Angry Men. Westling creates an expression of seriousness with a subtle eloquent charm, which is very fitting of Jura 8's personality. Gone with the Wind is another movie blessed with Westling's talent to represent the charismatic aura of Rhett Butler. Westling is a great digital artist and she doesn't limit herself to only painting characters from iconic movies. Here are two more of Westling's digital artworks, which display her skill for blending precise detail with rough textures and alluring cherry red and deep shades of electric blue. Westling has a Society 6 store, where you can purchase some beautiful tote bag and pillow designs. Novus Antique and Steampunk styling and design fell in love at first sight. The result was Novus Antique's unique steampunk earrings featuring Victorian elegance combined with gritty mechanical parts, such as gears, fuses and glowing chemicals. Novus Antique enjoys imagining types of jewellery, clothing or objects people who live in the fantasy world of steampunk would wear. Novus Antique has an Etsy store where she sells some of her awesome jewellery and much much more. Link to the store is in the description below. Rano artwork creates colourful and exuberant market atmospheres which are influenced by the ancient Canaan culture. The drapery in these artworks has a great flow and the bright colours produce a lively and social atmosphere found at most markets. Rano's sense of rich and vibrant colours suits futuristic concept environments or alien worlds overflowing with unique plants, trees, flowers and creatures. Rano has many concept fantasy environments in his DeviantArt gallery which are very beautiful. I can't wait to see even more of Rano's artwork as he continues to push his talent and create new styles and environments. The last artworks of the show come from Australian astrophotographer Capturing the Night. Cetian has a passion for photographing the night sky, as he experiences a sense of awe each time he gazes upon the incomprehensible number of stars in the sky. Cetian travels far beyond the light pollution of the city and suburbs in order to capture the purest image of the night sky as possible. Many of us live in densely populated areas where light pollution only allows us to see only a few of the brightest stars in the sky. CTN's work captures the untarnished night sky many of us forget or have never seen before because of where we live. The untarnished night sky is one of the most beautiful and thought-inspiring experiences we can have as humans. Thanks to capturing the night, we can experience it through his work where we otherwise cannot. CTN one day wishes to capture the night sky of Iceland, Canada and Chile. However, he admits he still isn't done capturing the skies of Australia yet. Check out CTN's website to learn more. Thank you for watching Deviant Hunting. All links to the artists are in the description below, so I encourage you to check out some of your favourite artists, leave them a comment, add their works to your favourites, or even add them to your Deviant Watch 
to see all their amazing artworks that just simply could not fit into the show. Furthermore, please check out the DeviantArt group called Deviant Hunting to post your own work and see some of the other works of other Deviants who also watch the show. Bye for now, but not forever. If you like what you saw on the video, please subscribe and share my video so I can keep helping to promote talented artists on DeviantArt.